All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a late night upload. I apologize if you guys are watching this in the morning. Good morning to you. Um, Police 1013, we have, uh, in my opinion, what is going to be one of the final updates for this game. I, I debated making a video on it. I'm sitting here. Uh, the update came out an hour ago via their Discord and their Facebook, uh, and we're going to go into it here. So there is a, a long write-up that was posted on their Facebook and Discord. Their Discord has since shut down, 100% um, gone. Uh, the, the update from Facebook is still live, but uh, on the 12th of December, 2019, I was given the news that a new brain tumor was found during an MRI. Obviously, most of you know that I had a brain tumor removed in 2018. If you guys don't know what Police 1013 is, I have a bunch of videos on my channel that has followed the saga from the beginning until Right now, if you guys want to go and watch those, I'll have a link to a couple of them down below to kind of catch you guys up. It was a police simulator that raised a bunch of money through crowdfunding and really didn't have a lot to show for it. Uh, about a year ago, actually, I think last April, I made uh, a couple of videos talking about, in my opinion, the, the scam that the game was. And since then, the developer and I and guys like Sid Alpha, we've all been going back and forth. And it's just when we asked a couple of questions, it sparked drama that I don't think I've ever seen on this channel before with uh, death threats being made against the developer, apparently, uh, and then him making dev blogs saying that it's because of people like me, even though I don't believe in making death threats or swatting or anything like that. It was just it was a crazy concoction of drama that all kind of stemmed from me asking a couple of questions. Um, but anyways, most of you know that I had a brain tumor removed in 2018 that took a lot of more time than it expected to recover from. This tumor is new and in a new place and a lot more serious. So he says, for the past five years, I've devoted my life to police 1013 through a lot of hard times with my family. Unfortunately, this latest news has left me physically and mentally drained to a point that I can't continue. And we knew about this, this brain tumor at the end of December because we actually had again, more drama spur up. And I actually was on a live stream where I had Matt kind of call into my discord and we had a, a pretty candid conversation. And in my opinion, we kind of just deaded all the drama. Uh, and at, at that point he was talking about this new uh, tumor that had or, you know, arose in his brain. And we just kind of had a, a, it was about a half an hour conversation about everything that had happened. Um, so this video isn't being made as a Fuck these guys. This video isn't being made as a let's destroy this scam game. This is literally just, in my opinion, giving you guys a little bit of closure and giving me some fucking closure to this police 1013 saga. Um, he says, uh, this is the hardest thing I've had to do, letting go of my baby with all the hard work I've done over the years. It's now become more important that I step back from any further responsibilities in the game and hand everything to the five developers that have been on the project since August. Now, apparently, there's a dev team involved here. We, we still don't have any proof or any sort of gameplay or, or progress reports or really nothing outside of text that was posted to the roadmap on their website, but really no visual representation of what's actually being done from these new devs. He says he's also stepping away from the games industry completely to concentrate on new endeavors to help support my family, which in all honesty, I have not done due to my commitment to the game. And we do know, uh, based on the conversation that I had, that um, the, the Wingman Games company is pretty much dissolved and everything is being ran by his his film company wingman pictures so i imagine him stepping away from the games industry is the dissolution of that company and all of that kind of you know synonymous with the fact that he's probably going to be going back into film these developers are more than qualified to complete this game but they are going to do it their way I have asked them to make a statement on the future of Police 1013 below to keep you updated. So we're going to go into that as well. He says, in closing, I want to thank all of you who have shown nothing but praise for the ongoing struggles we've had to deal with within the last year or so. You were all amazing. Lastly, I wanted to thank those that have supported me personally during the last 12 months. It hasn't been easy, and it's made this decision even harder than I expected. And obviously, he's talking about, I mean, A, the, the brain tumor, and B, just the amount of stress that uh, I guess people like myself and Sid Alpha have caused 
uh, or, you know, inadvertently by making videos on the, the project. Um, people attacked him. I'm not going to deny that one bit. I've seen the comments. Uh, but in the other side of things, people have attacked us pretty, uh, pretty rigorously as well. Uh, it, it just, it, it, spark, it sparked a, a, a bloodbath in the comments on both sides. And really, Matt, myself, and Sid are the only ones kind of sitting here going, you know, what the fuck? That being said, there's been a couple of dev blogs that Matt has put out where he's named me and called me out and made videos. So, it, 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 it again, it's in the past. At this point, it's 2020. It's a new year, new me, okay? Uh, I'm not sitting here trying to get at him. I'm just trying to give you guys some, some insight as to what actually went down. There was a lot of drama. These developers are more than qualified to complete this game and they're gonna do it their way. Uh, and then he says, all the best, Matt. Um, and then we have what appears to be a post being written by the new dev team. And I'm just gonna say this, this is just theory, conspiracy, tinfoil hat, big fry. They kind of write exactly the same as Matt. Not saying they don't exist. It just there's a, there's a no reason at this point for me to believe that they exist. And uh, it goes on. Hello, I am one of the new developers that have been working on the game through Matt's guidance for the past four months. Uh, so obviously he said that they were there since August, which would be about what six months at this point. So I don't know if he came in a little bit later. I've been chosen by the team to say something in support of Matt's unfortunate news to step down from the project due to health and other issues. We are a professional group of developers who between us have spent 30 years in the games industry. All of us worked on many different games, including studio and indie games. Uh, we were hired to build this game properly after Matt unfortunately had to reevaluate the people he was bringing on. Matt has worked tirelessly in other work to help financially support all of us, which we very much appreciate. Uh, again, I just... There's just, it's just vague stuff. Yeah, we 30 years in the industry and we worked on studio and indie games. There's really nothing to go on. Uh, and for me, just because of all the lies and the manipulation in the past, even though I'm over it and past it, it just makes me question every single word that I'm reading here. We as a group have seen the personal attacks on Matt and this game over the past several months, and we haven't been very impressed by this. This kind of behavior should never be tolerated by anyone, so we understand Matt's frustration in dealing with it for so long. And this is where I kind of I kind of get that, that that gut feeling as well that this is just Matt. Um because they defend him pretty rigorously about all of the the behavior and the attacks on Matt, but they don't ever uh, address the social media and the PR blunders of Matt and Police 1013 when he made videos about myself and Sid Alpha calling us out in multiple dev blogs, which just sparks more drama. Um, and, and so I just get a weird feeling when I'm reading this. He says, uh, so this kind of behavior should never be tolerated by anyone. So we understand Matt's frustration dealing with it. We as a group will be doing things a lot differently below. We have put in place a few things that we think will help give this project a new start. And now we're going to go into it. We will be closing all social media for Police 1013 and are going to reopen it at a time when we are ready to release the game on Steam or another platform. So all of their social media is gone. Their Discord has already gone down. I imagine that this Facebook is going to be taken down at some point, um, even though when you scroll down to the comments and there's people, they're not really hating on it. They're just kind of expressing their disappointment. And then, of course, there's fanboys who are defending them. I find it weird that the Police 1013 Facebook account is liking comments that are defending them, even though this is all about to be shut down. And it also does line up with the fact that uh, Matt used to do that all the time. He used to like comments from people defending them every single day. Uh, so the actions of the account tells me that Matt is still in control. Just saying. When the time comes, we will hand over all PR to a professional company that we have worked with in the past to reestablish the community that wants to be involved in the game's success. So number three, Discord will be closed. Number four, Facebook will be closed. Number five, we will not tolerate the kind of abuse Matt received during this process, so we will be completely concentrating on the game and not on social commentary. Again, I wish they would address both sides of the fence, but at the end of the day, this is probably the best case scenario. If this is true, 
which I am going to give my opinions on that a little bit later. Um, so we believe the game will speak for itself and don't need the distraction of overcomplicated social pressures. This is literally what we were telling Matt to do since day one, since the first day that I saw this game and saw all of the shit that was posted back in the day, back from 2013, 14, 15, 16, all of the hate. I said, just shut the hell up, put your head down and prove us all wrong and make the game that you want to make. And it looks like they're going to be doing it. We will honor PBL donations. PBL is Project Blue Line. For those who don't know, it is their crowdfunding. Uh, so when the game is completed, all of the people who uh, you know bought the game and backed it, they are going to honor all of those donations. We will keep all information private and do not have any details except name, email, and tier donated. Fair enough. The decision not to release something playable in March is mainly due to Matt's announcement. So the alpha that was slated for March is no longer coming out in March. As a group, we'd be far off better releasing an almost complete game when it's ready. We will not be rushed. Matt's vision is amazing, and we're going to honor that vision and do it properly. I know it might be disappointing to some that you don't get to see the great stuff we've been working on right now, but after discussing everything with the team, we concluded that a properly managed release strategy was more important for the game's success in the future. I actually agree with this. That being said, there's still nothing that that tells me that any of this is true after all of the lies and the manipulation and everything else i still just don't have any sort of confidence in anything that i'm reading here we do have the right contacts between us to see this project published and we will work closely with these contacts in due time when we're satisfied then they go on to thank Matt for his incredible work. They believe in this project. They also say, uh, on a more personal note, we feel it is important to make it clear that we have been fully briefed on all of the history of this project. Matt's commitment to this project was incredible. And then they go on to talk about Matt's greatest mistake throughout this game's history has been the people he has brought on. Non-committed, untrustworthy, and incompetent people who just weren't professional enough to handle such a big project. This happens all the time in our industry, and we've seen it over and over. We came on board this project because Matt was nothing like that. He was highly driven, very professional, and skilled in many fields, which is such a pity because his skill level deserves so much more respect than he received. And so when I'm reading this, I, I understand that they it, it's almost like they wanted to put a dig out to all of the people who uh, you know had, had done modeling for him in the past and worked at, as PR and, and all of this other stuff that he had brought in in unofficial capacities, people not signing NDAs, leaking stuff to me, which I know pissed off Matt as well. Um... This was a dig without naming, which I, I feel like it just, it, it just, I, I don't know why that had to go in there. Um, he, they also talk about the, the you know, the, we came on board this project because Matt was nothing like that. He was highly driven, very professional and skilled in many fields. I, I'm going to say this out of every single game that I think I've ever covered on the channel. I think Matt has displayed the least amount of professionalism I've ever seen in gaming. So when I read this and I see that this is what the air quote developers are saying, I just don't believe it. There is no possible way they could have looked at the history unless they don't know the entire history. But even though everything has been documented in my videos and on my Twitter and everything else, to call Matt professional tells me that this was not written by anybody else but Matt. Just conspiracy theory talk right now. We look forward to bringing you all an amazing game from the vision of Matt himself. It's a game that we know people will want to play. When the game is ready for release, you'll hear from us then. At no stage will we be making social or public comment on any release strategies as that just causes unjustified pressure on the team. So... They wrap it up. Finally, Matt, as a group, we look forward to seeing you succeed in anything you choose to do in the future. Okay. Let's talk about my opinion. I gave you guys some of my opinions, just kind of, you know, tidbits on some of the stuff they were writing because I didn't want to, you know, forget it and, and forget to put it at the end of the video here. Um, I think the game is done. It, this again, this is all just theory crafting. This is all just based on patterns that I have seen from developers in the past, games in the past, flopping and people lying. And, and I, I feel like this game is done. And I feel like it could be because this tumor is a real thing. 
And I, I'm not going to sit here and say that he's lying about that because I have no idea about his personal life. All I know is the stuff that he has said publicly about me and the false stuff that he has said about my community and Sid Alpha's community. So I can I can comment on that very easily. His personal shit, I have no idea about. But if the tumor is real, I feel like this is this is it for the game. And I feel like he is now, he dissolved the company. Uh, Wingman Games, and he has moved everything under the umbrella of Wingman Pictures, which is his film company. Uh, and I feel like he is just going to, well, he said he's leaving the gaming industry. I feel like we're not going to hear anything else from Police 1013 again. And at the end of the day, I'm happy about that. And I don't want to say I'm happy because fuck them, you know, ha ha ha. I, I just want a proper closure to this saga. I feel like what we did initially when we asked questions was just that. We asked questions, we covered what we were given publicly, and it spurred up drama that, like I said, I have never seen before in this industry. And I'm glad that that, that part of Police 1013 is over. At the end of the day, if there is a development team of, of five developers and they do take three or four years to take what Matt had and build it up, if all of this is real, great. I would love to play a proper police simulator. At the end of the day, it was never about the, the game itself. It was the lack of. I would love to play a proper police simulator. So if this is all real and we take it at face value and everything is, you know, hunky dory on the up and up, sure. Awesome. But I just feel like this is the end of the road for police 1013. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. This has been an ongoing thing, almost a year of consistent drama. And as soon as this update was posted, I know that people have been hanging on the channel and my words for police 1013 because people were just DMing me left, right and center about this update. I think it's over, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So if you guys want to leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Police 1013. Do you think it's going to be made? Do you think it's done? Do you, wh what are you guys thinking right now? Again, I know it's a late night upload and uh, I know a lot of you guys are probably tired. You're probably like, fuck man, I didn't want a notification right now, but I had to do it. I had to update you guys and, and give you a closure. Um, if you guys want to check out my Chrono store, it has merch. It has games for sale. They're legit as fuck. They're, guys, if you want legit keys from legit developers, go to, go to click the Chrono link down below, bigfry.chrono.gg, and it takes you there. There's a sale every single day. There's a game pretty much every 24 hours, so you guys can check out a new deal every day. Check out games like Squad, Postscriptum, uh, Hell Let Loose. There's a whole bunch of games on there as well as merchandise to support the channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.